I'm recovering. I'm recovering. We did uh, we did three days in Texas, and now uh, two days in Colorado. And yep. here in Denver, we just met uh, we just met some of your nice police officers, and so that's that's awesome. We're excited yeah. about that. Um, <laughs> it had to do with texting because texting uh, <laughs> there's uh, some law or something. Uh, but texting is this thing. I, there's a there's a there's an unwritten rule in texting. No. You know, and for me, I feel like when you get a text, you no matter what's going on in your life, you have to text back immediately. And, and, no, right? and no, it should be the opposite. All right, you should give the person you are with your full no, attention. No, no, because if you call somebody and you get their machine or you get their you know voicemail, you can leave a message, and that way they hear it okay. and they know. Oh, they're not available. They'll get back with me when they can. Okay. But when you text somebody, the understanding is if you don't hear back from them, they could be in peril. You know, they could be in major trouble. Something's wrong. You should begin the worrying process. Okay, so it's all right? about helping Exactly. The See, that's what they're doing. They must have just gotten texts. And so that's what happened to me. I'm driving. I'm driving through Denver, and, uh, and my phone goes off. I'm getting a text. And at this point, I'm not exactly sure what to do because I'm conflicted with the unwritten rule and the law. And, and normally so, I'm driving, but today for some reason he's driving. I was, and so I didn't know what to do, and so I, I just, this song came to my mind, so I sang it immediately. I did. I said, Bradley, take the wheel. I'm going to text with both hands, and I can't do this on my I took the wheel immediately.